Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, I guess this is just a bit of um, a mess. Um, this is just a bit of a craft and chat. Um, so, basically, I don't know what I'm doing. I have zero mojo at the moment. I've just got this piece of packaging, which is cool. Might do something with that. I don't know, not yet. Um, so basically, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm flat out of ideas at the minute. Oh, do you know, I have so many ideas for this journal and they're all buzzing around in my head and can't wait to get out and do them. But once I get sat here, I'm like, um, um, tumbleweed goes rolling by. And I'm like, okay, what was I going to think? <laughs> anyway, I've come on here because... Everybody who watches me regularly will know I cannot, I love these stickers. I love them because when they're on the page, some of them actually do look like real pressed flowers. But some of them are immensely annoyingly shiny and I don't like the shine. So the lovely Jen has mes messaged me. That was commented on the last post, I think. Anyway, irrelevant. Um, and she said that a man who he does up little model cars and model trains and he uses stickers on them and he hates the shine. So how does he remove the shine from his sticker? So <laughs> Jen said, get a new unused eraser and rub over the top. So I'm like, okay, well, I have these two down here anyway. Um, I do have new unused <laughs> erasers <laughs> because my granddaughter likes to gift me erasers. Bless her. Um, she likes to gift me erasers and she likes to gift... <laughs> it made me laugh. She, she likes to gift me potions. Um, so she'll give me this little tiny bottle and all it's got in it is water and glitter. And she's like, Nan, I've made a potion for you. So I'm like, oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> she gave me one um, a while back and it was, you know, like that slime that they play with. But she'd put different coloured little polystyrene balls in it, glitter and sequins. And I'm like, oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with these things. I think, um, to be honest, I may just keep them in my drawer and then when I pass away and she's helping her mum tidy my house out she just might find them and say oh look Nan kept all these things <laughs> not that I intend passing away anytime soon by the way um <clears throat> right so shiny sticker love it love it um I'm gonna th these are bases that I made ages ago just using all my scraps as you can see I make bases and then I decorate them as and when I'm doing a journal. So I could just add one big beautiful flower to that. Or maybe other stuff. Um, I don't really know. Some of them would be totally sufficient on their own. Um, that's just a... I think it's meant to go that way. Yes, it is. Um, that's just a layered little strips of paper. But if you were to come along and stick a big flower on there, it just looks really pretty. So sometimes when I cannot think what to do and don't have a right lot of mojo, I just get my scrap papers out and just cover some card packaging and just make little ATC cards, tags. Um, I quite like that. I would actually use that on its own as it is. Could add a little label and maybe a little flower. I don't know. You can do what you want with them. Add a little um, shiny glitzy tab at the top. That looks really cute. I might even do that. Um, that's a bit big for on there really. But so stickers, does it work? Well, I don't really know. But I kind of, I feel like I'd probably be best sticking the sticker down. <clears throat> because otherwise it's going to slide about all the time. Um, is this, why do I feel like this isn't straight? Well, because <laughs> I cut it, that's why. Um, 
Let me get it on the ground. Oh no, Charlie. Charlie is driving me insane. Charlie, Charlie was the desk cat, as you all know. Um, I can't even see the blue lines up there. Blue lines where my eyes are not that great. It seems to be straight. Does it? I can't even see. To be really honest, I can't even see the blue lines. So how am I going to see if it's straight? It's a bit wonky. I don't care. It's a tag. Oh, it's pink. I don't really want it pink. Well, I'll just have to put some plain card on the back. Plain. Oh, look at that. Fly paper. Out of the book. Super de duper. I'll just put some of that on the other side. Anyway, waffling. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Charlie, the desk cat, has decided I'm sick of the desk. I'm moving on to your chair. Been on my chair for days and days and days, which means I can't craft because he's sat on my chair and I like to sit on my chair. Um, so when I come and sit here, I try to sit on the edge so he can still stay behind me. But then he takes the hoof and gets off, goes to the door, meows and wants to go out. And I'm like, you don't really want to go out. He doesn't because he went out of the front door. Hmm five or six minutes before I put this camera on and now he's at the back door <laughs> can stay out there for a bit silly moo so I'm going to try this um, new unused eraser technique to see if it takes the shine off the sticker so we'll see Jen it's an experimentation this is an experiment excuse me if I sound a bit um <clears throat> croaky funny i don't what is it with wednesdays it's wednesday today isn't it <clears throat> again last night mm, i was okay but i wasn't feeling like you know a hundred percent and again this morning i woke up i had a sore throat really bad sore throat um loads of gunk again and I'm just like, what? Well, what is it? We're Wednesdays. Seriously. So I've cancelled all my appointments today. Hey, do you know what? I think it works. Um, <coughs> cancelled my appointments today. Haven't been to see my mum and dad today. And yeah, I feel blooming grotty again. To be honest, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. I have to have like a doing day, a not doing day, a doing day, a not doing day. Some of my doing days are together. So that means I need a couple of days to recover after. And as of last Tuesday to this Tuesday, I have done something every day, which, you know, some days getting up and getting washed and dressed is difficult. And if I'm staying at home and not seeing anybody, I don't even get washed and dressed, which sounds disgusting. I'm not a disgusting person. It's just, it is how it is. Um, do you know what? Jen, it works. It's still, you can still see a tiny bit of shine because it is a sticker. But here in the room, that's quite amazing. Here in the room, it now looks a bit more like washi tape. On camera, you're probably still getting a bit of shine, but that is nowhere near as much shine as it was a minute ago, like, like this shine. So if I put that there, you can see how shiny that is. That isn't. Jen, it works. <laughs> It works. Oh my goodness. So you need a new... Oh, you can't use a new unused eraser every time you want to stick a sticker on, can you? But do you know what? That's amazing. And it isn't even as shiny in real life. I can still see it a bit, probably where I've missed it. <coughs> yeah, I'm really groggy today. Um, what's new? <laughs> I'm groggy every day. Um, see it? Oh! goodness it works it works sorry <laughs> she's crackers she's finally gone she's finally gone around the bend been going around that bend for such a long time what am i looking for this i just um don't really know what to do. Does, will this fit in my um oh, i've put it away 
it was on a little table right behind me and I've put it away. Do you know what? Just use the use the good old um, card thing. I don't even know if I finished my sentences. Do you know? I started telling you about the card bases. I make card bases when I can't always think of something to do, but I want to make something. I just make card bases. Um, <laughs> and then I decorate them at a later date dependent on you know what the theme of my journal is or i think i just cut a bit of that off as well then i'm just going to take that top off because it's um wonky um yeah <coughs> sorry <coughs> oh dear me what is with the colds the colds coughs and this afternoon i was trying to craft making little bits and I just felt so sickly and horrible. I actually went and laid down. <coughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. What is it with Wednesdays? Wednesdays colds. Strings everywhere, strings everywhere. Um, ask me what I'm doing. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing something with this I don't know what was I going to staple that to there I was but I don't actually like it um, <laughs> I do like this stuff it's weird but I like it what's all these funny bits it's like um, it's like hair it's not hair but it's yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. Any, oh, it's come back again. Go in the bin. It's gone. Um, <coughs> I'm just looking for some, that's cute. Can you see that? <laughs> it's really pretty. It's shiny. Um, just been getting rid of shine, and I might be putting some shine on here. It's a bit stupid, isn't it? Um, I quite like that, but it's a bit of a I don't even know you there tag. Um, tag? Tab. It would help if I knew what I was speaking about, but this last few days, pff, no chance. <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about. That looks stupid. Right. <laughs> anyway, the rubber thing, sorry, the eraser thing seems to work. I know that, you know, in different countries, things mean different things so i am trying to consciously say eraser and not the other thing um <coughs> excuse me very groggy yes yeah, so i've not been doing um much today i think i decorated a journal page i think did i make anything i don't think i did i want some little tabs oh there you go that can go on there can't it <laughs> stop getting handshake thing is back's that and i don't want oh, that that's really not straight and it's them oh do you know um what did i do with that paper you see this isn't quite tall enough is it but i'm just going to stick it down anyway because well does it matter if it's pink it does to me it does to me in this journal. Most of the time I'd probably say no, but in this journal, <clears throat> we don't want no pink in the background. Sorry, no. <clears throat> oh, dear me. The grog gets worse. It was horrific this morning. Absolutely horrible. And then it finally went off after a, a huge cup of coffee huge cup of tea some honey and hot water and my um porridge <laughs> it finally went okay and then yeah it's night goes on it's coming back again i know you do get worse on the night time but yeah it's just i don't know um i think i discovered still let me hold that up to the light how much is in oh no there's quite a bit in there I thought nothing were coming out because it were quite empty, but it isn't. It's lying to me. Anyway, let me stick this on. 
and I'm going to stick it up here straight would have been grand um yeah this is a craft and chat it's not like I'm teaching you anything new not that I teach either but um I keep picking that up that's about the third time I've picked that up now um it's just a craft and chat because I have no ideas in mind at the moment and um don't know what to make feeling a bit grotty so I just thought you know just put the camera on and just just chat just titty chat chit chat chit chat chit chat pussycat um let me get them off oh gosh I'm making right pig's ear of this proper pig's ear um where's my little scissors that would be a bit better I think to go down the side just get along the you can use the card as a guide not that it matters on my card because it's already wonky anyway um okay do it from that side so that's best when you can put up against the card and cut it properly there we go I've never seen it takes somebody so long just to make a little tag card tag yeah it could even be a pocket <laughs> i've been going through my journal today and just like oh, i have so many ideas but then then i haven't i'm like okay don't know don't know what i'm doing i think i want that on there i think that looks okay um I need some more ribbon. Oh, I wanted to go to the haberdasheries today. Yeah, that was one of the things I was going to do while I was out. Because I really, really need, I used to have tons and tons of ribbon. But I don't use ribbon as much in my journals. So, um, but anyway, eventually I have kind of used all my ribbon. Because I used to make wax melts and I used to use them to close the boxes and make pretty bows on them and stuff so i'm a bit lacking in the ribbon area but i don't i want the thin ribbon you know the really thin stuff i don't have any on my desk yeah the really thin stuff but i'm always going for creams and browns and golds <laughs> they're just my colors they're the colors i like Hence why I'm doing the journal that I'm doing that's in creams and browns and bits of black and gold and bronze. It's lovely. I love it. Um, a lady did ask in the comments um, if I was selling it and um, could she have first dibs. Um, the answer to that is when I started out with the intention of making another journal, um, it was to sell, just to recoup and replenish, you know, stuff that I use. Because let's face it, we've got to pay for everything. Printer ink, card, papers, brads, lace, ribbon, everything. It's all got to be paid for. So I did think um, that I was going to sell it. But then when I put the signatures together and I'd done the jelly prints, I was like, hmm... I really love this journal and I mean it's one of them I literally have fallen in love with and I haven't even made it yet I've done little bits in it but the vision that I have in my head of it if it goes like I want it to go I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to part with it but we'll see maybe 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 I will maybe I won't um yeah I do actually love it. I'm really enjoying making it. Where's the dauber? Do you know, I sat till quite late last night. I think it was about 11-ish. Um, I didn't want to stay up that late. And I shouldn't have done because I started feeling a bit rough last night. Um, and I went to bed. But I sat cleaning all my desk because it was horrific. And when I say horrific everything was just in a pile i mean over here i've got lace and fabric i've got papers i might use i've got book pages and coffee dyed stuff 
I've got my stencils on top. I've got a few stamps and stuff over here and boxes of stickers. It's relatively tidy apart from this bit here. But last night, oh my goodness, the lace were in with the paper. The stickers were all over. The paper and lace were all over. It was horrendous. So I just had to tidy up. And now, well, it's kind of horrendous again. Right, I'm going to stick that on there. I don't really know why, um, but why not? Why not? Oh yeah, we're looking in here for a sticker, aren't we? Oh, I am so sleepy. I'm so blooming sleepy until I get to bed. And then I can't get to sleep. Maybe I should go to bed now. Right this second. Turn the video off and go to bed. I actually want a cup of tea. I'm gagging for a cup of tea. I've been trying to drink lots today because obviously when you've got coughs, colds, catar, whatever, drink plenty. Now then, do I want that there? But the, that looks like a label. It isn't. It's a bit of book page, but I also feel like this is a bit empty over this side. Sue does not know really what she's doing. She's just playing. She's just playing and I thought I'd come on for a chat. A chit chat. Oh, my dad. Good grief. My dad is like flipping Superman or something. I don't know what's going on with my dad. We were told he was the, at the end of his life. I don't know if I've already said this. I already told you this. Well, I can't have done because it only happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days um yeah is is been we were told he's at the end of his life da, 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 da. um he's been in a hospital then he's all right he's up sat in the dining room feeding himself and you're like wow this man keeps us on our toes um yeah he he has been in bed now and sometimes he's looked like he's been at death's door Sometimes you actually walk in and think, oh my days, he really does not look good today. Another day you go and he's sat up in bed and his table's at the side of him in a cup of tea and you're like, okay. <laughs> but yes, so so we had a meeting on um, the other day. <laughs> I don't even know what day it was. Um, we had a meeting with the care home manager and my mum and dad, when they went in there, we asked if they could have a bedroom and like a living room so two rooms but one done out like a lounge with you know chairs and a tv and what have you which is what they had um but they never used the lounge because from day one they started taking them downstairs into the living room i need some more wordy things um so they never used the lounge but then when my dad got ill and he needed um to be got up with a steri steady they couldn't get in between my mum and dad's bed so they moved him into what was their lounge <laughs> so but I think you know my mum got so used to him just being there in the same room that it's has it unsettled her I don't know um but I do feel like she's her dementia is bad I don't know what that says I haven't got a clue um, I'm just going to put that on there because I can't even see what it says so it's just going there Um, yeah so her dementia has got bad and she does have a tendency to wander through the night but she goes looking for my dad and trying to get him up which is not good so but her bedroom basically it's it's L-shaped well it ain't there's a bathroom there there's a little alcove there where was her bed, a chest of drawers and my dad's bed originally. Over here, there's dressing table, chest of drawers, wardrobes. So loads of space. They had two um, comfy chairs, TV on the chest of drawers. It's a big room. My dad is in a little room that's got a single bed and a wardrobe and a chest of drawers in it. Because mum's sitting in there with him a lot and because we're sitting in there with him a lot, they put two comfy chairs in there. So it's a bit packed. 
and because my mum was allowed to sleep in a chair, I think that's why she fell and broke her wrist. So, um, why does everything not look straight to me? So anyway, um, we've been talking about putting dad back into the same room as mum. They weren't too keen on doing that because my mum goes and tries to wake him up. And they said, he's, you know, if he's not well and he's not sleeping very good, he gets woke up every two hours anyway, but people checking on him. He's like me. Somebody walks in the room, he's awake. I'm a light sleeper. So they said they weren't too keen on doing it because she's a tendency to wander around at all hours. Um, anyway, we have kind of said, well, if Dad's back in with her, she isn't tempted to stay in his room all night and sleep in a chair, which she never should have been allowed to do. But the guy who allowed her to do it has now been sacked. So and that's good. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we said it might curb her getting out of bed and wandering because she'll feel more safe and secure because she knows my dad's in there with her. So she probably won't have the tendency to get up so much. Because she does occasionally get up in the early hours of the morning. Go, My dad's only across the corridor, literally a, a few steps. But she's going in and waking him up and saying, come on, get up, Jeff, get up. And he can't get up, he can't walk. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Um, so we've decided underneath my mum's room on the first floor is the exact same shape room. So, anyway, we were discussing and putting them back in together the other day with the manager and she said, um, would you like to see a room I've got, a, a room where we could put them both in? Um, very similar to what, you know, mum's in upstairs. But it's just come free. So we went and had a look and we were like, yeah, perfect, move them. So she was going to move them um, yesterday. And then she rang me, bless her, so apologetic. Oh, so I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. So basically, we still need two rooms because um, just in case dad doesn't settle in mum's room, if she is waking him up constantly and making him, you know, feel more ill because he's constantly getting woken up, we still want the option of another room in case it doesn't work out so she said well we've got two rooms on the first floor they're not opposite but one's just diagonal so we're like yeah that's fine great stuff they were going to move him on tuesday all guns going brilliant and then she rings me she's like she was so apologetic i'm so sorry i'm so sorry we can't do it we can't do it today and i'm like it's fine what's, what's the problem the man that was supposed to be leaving out of the single room he's not going till next monday so she's like i'm really sorry we can't do it till next monday and i'm like don't worry it's fine it's absolutely fine it's just one of them things you know but um so yeah they're moving in a room together which the wonderful thing for is us is it's on the first ground floor they're currently on the first floor and my mum's room is at the end corner and my dad's is at the end at the other side across the hall there is a lounge on the first floor so if my mum gets a bit fed up sitting in my dad's room she can toddle down to the lounge but it's a little lounge and probably only two or three people sit in there plus the carers so not the greatest um she does like it in there and it is quite cozy because it's smaller it is more like being in the living room it's not that small i mean there's what one two three there's about six chairs a big unit with a tv and there's two dining tables with chairs at the other side um so it's not massively small but she does like going in there but she likes being downstairs um Sorry, I'm just working out what this might be, <laughs> apart from just an ATC. Um, so <clears throat> she likes being downstairs in the living room downstairs because one, she can see what's going on. Two, she can see everybody else. And three, she can get into the dining room. And they have said that when she's eating meals in my dad's room, and I've seen it, she eats two or three spoonfuls. And I'm like, mum. You need to eat more food, but she said, I don't want to. But they've said that when she's sat downstairs, 
with a table of ladies, she eats more. So we've said, well, the ground floor will be brilliant because then she can just walk along. She can go in the lounge if she wants. She can go in the dining room and have all the meals. Um, and maybe at some point you could try getting my dad up because the other day, so sad, Lauren, my daughter, went to see him and she said, are you all right, Grandad? And he went, no, not really. So she went, why? What's the matter? He said, I want to get out of here. <laughs> Bless him. I mean, he's been in bed for, it must be eight weeks. It must be. Um, so yeah, he, he wanted to get up. So anyway, to my surprise yesterday, my daughter went to see them and she says, uh, got there and um, she said, uh, I was just about to go up up the stairs and one of carers stopped me and they said, oh, they're in the living room. And she like, what? And she's in the living, they're in the living room. So they'd got my dad up, so they'd asked him, because I asked him when I was there, I said, would you like to get up for a bit, dad? And he said, no. So I think they're going to have to be careful with him and not overdo it. You know, not get him up and take him in the lounge and leave him sat there all day long, because that, that would be detrimental to his health again, I think, because currently people are going in and feeding him, going in and making sure he gets drinks. That's not going to happen as much if he's in the lounge. So anyway, she went in the lounge because they'd got him up, um, sat him in the lounge, um, give him a change of scenery, make him a bit happier if sat with my mum. But they had a singer on in the afternoon. So they said, We've, we thought we might as well leave him and let him enjoy the singer. So anyway, my daughter said, you know, it, it looked a bit tired and what have you but she said it, it was actually a lot better than i thought it would be um so maybe it's done him good being out of bed a bit but she said can you ring oh she asked me if i'd got one of the carers telephone numbers and i said yeah i have she said can you message her and ask her to send you the video that she did of granddad today so i said yeah yeah i'll ask her anyway she rang me did the lady and uh, she said, I I'll send you it, yeah, I'll definitely send you it, Sue. She said, but I just wanted to warn you before I send it. She said, I have a box of tissues. <laughs> and I was like, really? She said, yeah. She went, he made me cry. She said, I, I couldn't handle it. She you see, her grandma used to be in there and her grandma died um, just about a year ago now, I think. And she works there. So she uh, she said, yeah, she said, um, and she loves my mum and dad. She absolutely loves my mum and dad. Um, so she said, yeah, I just wanted to, she I'll send you it happily. She said, but I just wanted to warn you, you know, to get some tissues at the handy. So I said, all right, okay. Um, she said, yeah, it made me cry. She said, I had to go outside. <laughs> and I was stood outside crying. She said, and seeing you come out, like, what are you crying for? She went, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Bless her. And she's like, you've made him really happy. She went, I know. But she was just very emotional because it brought a lot of things back to her. Well, I was going to use that for writing in. I can't really write. Oh, I could if I did it that way. I have to ink it all again now. Um, so, yeah, so she sent me the video. She sent me two videos. And did they make me cry? Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> Bless him. It's amazing, you know, when your family members, parents, husbands, whatever, have got dementia and Alzheimer's and stuff like that. You lose them bit by bit every day. But it's amazing things that they remember. Can't remember what they had at lunch 20 minutes ago. Have you had lunch? I haven't had any lunch. You've just had your dinner. No, I haven't. I haven't eaten anything. They can't tell you anything. But my mum used to play the piano when she was younger. She didn't play it professionally or anything. She was self-taught. She just played on it at home and got an ear for it. She could literally listen to a song and then plink about for a few minutes and then play it. And she did that in there, 90 odd years old, hasn't played a piano for like 50 years to my memory. Um, a long long time anyway and yeah she sits there plinks about for a bit and then plays a tune and you're like wow isn't it amazing how she can remember the tune she can plink about a little bit get the sound of it and play it 
but she can't remember what she had for lunch. <laughs> it is really crazy. But um, yeah, my dad was sat and he was singing. He was singing all the words to the song that was on. And I was just like, oh my days, that's so lovely. He can't really sing because he's he struggles to get his words out now. He can't, I don't know if he's a bit breathless or sometimes you can't hear what he's saying or he's not as um, good at vocalising it. But yeah, he was singing all the words on this video and he was looking right at the camera. He was obviously looking at the carer, but it looks like he's looking at the camera and I was just like, ooh. <laughs> blubbing my head off <laughs> and I, I messaged her and I just put loads of crying faces and I love heart and she put I told you <laughs> I can't know oh it was so lovely so lovely though and my mum were happy um so all good I'm trying to make some here guys while I'm wittering on um and I've absolutely no idea what I'm actually making I'm thinking little, just a little writing space. Um, but I want to do something with this. I, I kind of like that. Don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm totally honest. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's a pocket I made. And I didn't like it on the page I was making, so I thought, well, do like a bit of a background and it'll stand out more. So I did. And I still didn't like it. <laughs> So it's there. Um, yeah, so so that was, it was nice to see that. Very, very nice. I want some like collage around this, but it, it's a book page. I'm kind of like, well, what do I stick on it? Something that goes preferably. I've got that little bit of something. Uh, um, well, I've got that little bit of something. I just kind of want to cover up the writing a little bit. Not that there's out wrong with writing. We use book pages all the time. I just kind of want a little bit of a collage thing, I guess. Don't really know. Don't really know. These are torn. This is not. It's straight. I like torn with torn. The second day. What did I put on that tag? Was it the first day? It was the first day. <laughs> this is the second day. <laughs> um, gosh, I know I've waffled, haven't I? You've had thread to needle of me feeling ill. My dad's singing <laughs> all about the rooms. I don't half chat on, do I? Chat on, girl, chat on. So, yeah, that's the upshot. And then yesterday I started feeling poo. So I've missed seeing my mum and dad today and I did tell the lady that sent me the video that I was going today and I haven't been. But that's just how my life is. It is it's weird how I keep getting this weirdness on a Wednesday though. It's weird Wednesday. Um that's very random. That's even more random. Maybe I should put that down there. And keep kind of going round here a little bit. Just collage it, collage bits. Have I got any more bits? Ooh, what's that? That's cool. Um, that bit. That's a bit of a tarm edge. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I could put that up there. I don't like it that white. It's that fluffy paper, this, though. Don't take the ink very well. Fluffy paper. <laughs> yeah, Charlie's gone out. He's in a sulk. I sit on the chair and I perch right on the end. It hurts my bum. But I'm like, you've got my chair, Charlie. But he's like, <laughs> I'm moving. I'm moving and I want to leave the premises. Okay. Um, right, I think I'm doing that. I think that looks all right. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. What is it, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. It's a thing. Well, I like things in his journals, don't we? 
We don't necessarily know what the thing is, but we like it. I like things. I like things like that. Yeah, so this glue is very, very nearly empty. Well, I think. I best um, actually stick this one down first because that's going up. Is that Charlie? So I could hear a cat meowing. Oh, God, I put it there, put it there. No, it's coming already, look. Don't want to come out and then it blurbs out at you. Just get that there. Whoops. See, I haven't really done much in the journal today. I've done a little, I've done a few alterations because I had a page that I think I said I didn't like and it wasn't just a case of I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. So, um, yeah, I have changed that page. Um, that's it. This feels a bit weird because, oh, yuck bombs. Um, it feels a bit weird because... I haven't ripped or inked that and well it is a bit random. Should I make this a pocket so you can slide something in there? What on earth would you slide in there though? Hmm? I don't know. I like little hidden pockets and if all it's going to be is a little writing thing then why not have a hidden pocket? You know, yeah, you, <laughs> I'm just sat here, like, chatting me head off. I can chat the hind legs off a donkey. And I always remember my friend saying that about another friend and saying there's a blooming field full of legless donkeys somewhere. <laughs> a field full of donkeys with no legs. Oh, I didn't put that on, did I? Yeah, you, you little cute thing. You were going to go somewhere, and now you can't, because, well, you still could. You still could. So, do I make this a pocket? Can you answer me, please? Can you even see me? Yeah, you can see me. Shall I make this a pocket? It can have a little tag in it. Yeah, why not? Ugh. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Oh, the glue, the glue. <sighs> I really need a nice big cup of tea and a glue that works. I don't want to pull the bugs off. I don't like it. Especially when they're squishy. <laughs> I don't like the squishy glue. Okay. Okay, calm down, Susan. Compose yourself. <sighs> Have I got all else to tell you? I don't know. That's it. Craft chat over. <laughs> I've got no else to say. Except my mum and dad are moving into a new room, which is so, it makes me so happy. Because they're on the ground floor and because my mum can tootle off and do what she wants if she gets a bit fed up. Or she can sit in the bedroom with dad and watch the telly. But now dad's been out. I'm thinking they're not going to be able to get him out every day and I don't particularly want them to get him out every day because I want him to rest in between. But um, yeah, at least he can get up and go sit in the lounge, which is nice. Oh, stick this on, so. Away. Away, little paper, go away. Yeah, that video really did make me cry. I might post it on um, my community chat thing. I might. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to say um, to all my subscribers and all the lovely people who comment, they take time to comment, like, share, etc, etc, subscribe, da 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 da. I just wanted to say a massive thank you because I get the most lovely comments and very, what I found doing this channel is um, 
obviously I talk about my life and what's going on in my life. Not in massive detail, but I do tell you stuff. And the support that I've had has been so heartwarming, so lovely. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you for your lovely comments. Now, the other week I posted a, a funny video because people say they like my sense of humour and I am a bit nuts and, you know, so I thought I'd post a funny video telling you I'd got a crocodile, which I did. But that very day, I lost 11 subscribers. And I was like, wow. I mean, it does fluctuate day to day. You know, you get like two come, one goes. It does go up and up and down a heck of a lot. <clears throat> what was that voice? <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, yeah, it does go up and down a lot. You know, you'll gain two, you'll lose one, you'll gain three, you'll lose two. It's weird. But... I lost 11 subscribers that day and I'm like, oh wow, did they not like my sense of humor? <laughs> I don't know, but I did kind of think, well, if somebody comes on here looking for a crafting channel, they might not necessarily want to see me acting the goat on here. So I deleted it and then afterwards I thought, you should have left that on there. One, it was quite funny. And two, it was probably one of my, one of my most commented on videos. And the amount of people, I had 70 plus comments that were all really lovely, really kind, funny, having a laugh. Couldn't believe what I'd done. Neither could I actually for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> for that matter but yeah a lot of people were very positive about it but I just thought I did think if people are coming to watch crafting and that is the first video they see it's going to put them off watching my channel when I actually have made some nice stuff you know along the way just check out the rest of my videos <laughs> but yeah I took it down I don't know why but well I do know why because I've just said Anyway, I'm waffling because I don't know what I'm on about, basically. Do you really need to keep that? I mean, do you? What are you going to do with it? Oh, look. So there's a matching one over there. Now, you see, yeah, because you, you could use that on a thing. You know, just a little thing. I want to use this. It's been sat on my desk for days and I really want to use it. I don't know where I'm going to use it, but I really want to use it. Now, this is screaming to me. Was I up over there then? Yes, I was. Sorry. Um, it's screaming to me. Well, it could be a pocket. A pocket. It could be a that way pocket. It could be a flap. So that could be on one of my journal pages mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that could be on one of my journal pages glue it down glue it down oh my goodness it's a little pocket and the other side could be a flippy flappy like that idea but um yeah anyway i'm not going to do it now guys because this video is probably long yes it is um right so i'm going to go i'll be back hopefully maybe tomorrow I don't know what's happening tomorrow if I feel all right I might do the things I normally do but um who knows until tomorrow comes hey so yeah I might make this into a flippy flappy thing I might do that on the next video or I could make a little booklet out of it with the pages that show little layered pages would be nice just some ideas for you before i go but i'll come back and do something with that later and with some of these other bits um thank you very much for watching thank you for all your wonderful wonderful comments and the love that you show the lovely comments that you give the support thank you